that was a fabulous introduction was it not so i'm sure after that intro you're wondering this girl here is a confused soul who does not know what she wants to do or be in life and to that i will say you are absolutely right <laughs> like most of us i've always been this child who did not know what she wanted to do did not have a plan one day i wanted to be a doctor on another day i wanted to be a truck driver i think we all wanted that right right no i didn't mean everyone wanted to be a truck driver i mean we all had different things that we wanted to be in different points in our lives so now coming back to me so while i wanted to try like a hundred different things there was one thing that i knew though that i loved having fun what what kind of a question is that who does not like having fun i can literally see it on some of your faces right now you're like questioning me but the thing is if you ask me i wasn't really confused i would call it determination at least that's what i'd like to think i was determined to just have fun i knew what i wanted and i was doing everything to achieve just that but unfortunately having fun is not a career option let me take you back to the time where this realization happened so i was 17 when i started living by myself i was in the 12th grade while my parents provided for me financially i was the one who decided to live alone so i had to fend for myself now i had to make money but at the same time i did not want to give up on having fun so i decided to try myself at various things things that i loved to do so eventually i became a drug dealer no obviously not i was joking guys you're very very serious <laughs> so to make money and have fun at the same time i did various things i played sports i acted i danced i did so many things it was all good i was all having fun and it was like all happy go lucky and i was doing what i wanted right i was having fun but then i turned 25 and that's when it hit me it hit me that i don't have a plan what am i doing with my life basically it was like a midlife crisis but only like 20 years earlier you know social media has this thing of making you look like a failure you agree with me yes yeah so i used to see my friends post pictures online like you know of these with these trophies that they won for the best employee or someone who's taking a much needed break in thailand or someone who's moved to a different country altogether and that worried me worried me to the point where i felt like i was actually wasting my time that i would have to park having fun aside and actually make a career out of something this thought kept bogging me day in and day out i became a completely different person i was sad upset gloomy all the time i hated what i became but then i had to do something right so i would give this a thought and while i was trying to figure out what to do next i was also discovering about myself that i'm someone who wants to do everything well not everything but things that i loved things that i was passionate about things that i was even curious about like like one day i saw those baking videos online and i tried baking a cake it was a disaster i wouldn't even feed that nasty stuff to my cats and my cats are the ones who eat cockroaches so you can imagine how bad it was but i tried right and that's what matters and i would keep trying after that i would keep trying because i genuinely liked learning new things and i know this may sound stupid but but i somehow enjoyed the process of falling down and picking myself back up again i don't know who thinks like that right yeah i'm weird and trust me i'm not just saying that for a tedx talk but i genuinely felt that way so i was like this butterfly right i was gliding from one nectar one flower to the other trying to suck the nectar out of all of them i even coined a term for someone like me i would like to call myself a professional butterfly 
you know someone who starts doing something learns from it builds a cocoon for themselves goes through a whole new process of evolution and then evolves into this beautiful butterfly and then there's someone who says in other words you're a classic jack of all trades sam but what is wrong with that is there really anything wrong with that do you think so yes no maybe no i don't think there's anything wrong with that thank you marian and i'll tell you why point number 1 professional butterflies like me have been beginners so many times that we are not scared of starting over point number 2 every profession teaches you something new which you can eventually use in any other profession that you choose to pursue later am i making sense yes i need a louder yes or no okay i'll give an example even though so i was I was always athletic and because I played sports I was agile and my reflexes were good which helped me in my professional dancing Now when you dance you learn to emote to a song right you become one with the song whether the song is a happy song sad song you're disgusted or angry you learn those emotions And that in turn helped me in my career as an actor Now as an actor I knew what an artist goes through in uncomfortable clothes in front of the camera. That helped me in my career as a stylist. You could say I got lucky with my choices and maybe I did, but trust me, it is true when they say no amount of knowledge ever 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 goes waste. Point number 3. Because we've been in so many shoes so many times, we learn to adapt to anything and everything that is thrown at us. even shoes like i would technically go and become a shoe one day <laughs> if i could and if i had to point number 4 we give our 100% to each and every profession and learn to retreat from it when we think we are not doing justice to it or not giving our 100% to it and then we are ready to start over now i know to this point some of you are thinking she's just a quitter you will term me as a quitter but let me ask you one thing How many of you cringe when your alarm goes off in the morning and you come to realize that oh I have to go to work or I have to go to school or I have to go to college how many of you I want to see those hands up Nice that's a lot of people <laughs> So for all those who raised your hands and for all those who didn't liars <laughs> I want to ask you one thing What's the point in starting your day with a cringe? I'm going to leave you with that thought. So something happened last year, right? Something big, something that changed my entire outlook towards life. It was like the month of October was trying to tell me something. So we were on our way from Goa to Bombay, we were driving, and I witnessed an accident. This lady was hit by the car that was in front of me. and she tossed up in the air by the time we all got to her she was long gone and that that image stayed with me for a while and it disturbed me and i was just trying to get over that and then one day i get to know my dear 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 friend denver fernandez he passed away just the same way he was in an accident He was this really big guy, right? Really huge guy who was into fitness and who ate everything healthy, who did all the right things. No one would have ever thought that like you know Dan Fernandez could pass away. And that hit me. I didn't know I could feel that much pain. I I really didn't know I could feel that much pain. So every day I would wake up thinking Okay no this is a bad dream this is a bad dream i'm going to wake up and then was going to be all right all of this is going to happen i was just trying to come to terms with what i had just heard and the following week i heard that another friend of mine dean fernandes he was diagnosed with cancer it was like my world was crumbling down it was i didn't know what was happening everything was just happening together and 
it was like my friends were dropping like flies when i was sitting there and brooding over all of this and this you have this thing right why me why does this happen to me why is this happening to me i was doing that and when that happened i had a moment a beautiful moment in that very moment my life was signed sealed and stamped and any form of doubt that i had about myself about the way i lived about what i did my decisions that i took in the past everything vanished in just that fraction of a second that's when i came to realize that what they say is true like life is too short to be unhappy life is too short to not be doing what you actually want to do it's not just another tumbler quote then i came to realize that i unknowingly was on the right track so here i am today samantha fernandez i may be a lot of things but the one thing that i'm not is unhappy so for all those of you who've made who've not made your move towards learning what you like following your passion i think this is the time you should make your move I know it's difficult I know it is it 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 will be a struggle trust me I know but even a butterfly has to struggle out of its cocoon to finally spread its wings and fly and for those homies here who just realized that you're a professional butterfly like me first of all yay there's more of us <laughs> who are the ones who just realized that you're a professional butterfly i want to see those hands up if you think in one two Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, and I see three hands. But that's all right. At least you understood. At least you know there is something like this, and there are more people outside there. To you, I say, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you, and it is okay. You are a professional butterfly. You are multi-talented, and you should own it. Go feed that fire. That's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.